I've decided to record another video here for the Browse and Scrape tool as I've integrated a new bookmark kind of while I was designing the software and creating these help videos. So let me just show you something. Inside the Pins and Browse and Scrape, you click the browser. I did add the Trends bookmark. So um, let me show you here what that's all about. So if you click on Trends, It'll bring you to the Trends section. Now I have integrated a new Trends tool inside the software. Please refer to that video. There's probably a couple of them there that talks about that tool. That tool is awesome. It utilizes the data from this, but I've also integrated it inside of the Browse and Scrape um, tool. So in here, if you just click on it, you'll go to here and it has a whole bunch of Trends data. So it, Trends data, um, this page may not actually work if you're not in one of the three countries. So if you're not in the US, UK, or Canada, you probably won't see anything here. Now this is not my fault, it's because Pinterest will detect what country you're in and they won't provide this data if you're in a different country. But that, that's okay, don't worry about that. It's say if you're in um, the UK or sorry, like say in Australia or something like that, or different different country like Japan or Brazil, and this is not working, this tool in the trends will continue to work. So refer to that video and it, it will work. But if you're in one of these three countries, you can utilize the uh, bookmark in the browse and scrape. So in here, you can do all your, uh, just surf in here, just like any other web browser. So let's just um, do some surfing in here. Let's say I want to look at some trends to do with a keyword. So let's say like, just put dog, keep using that. So you click on dog, it'll give you some trends data. And you come down here and I'm like, oh, I wanna look at these these pins, these popular pins. So click here. So after you click that, you'll see <clears throat> it'll go and explore all of those pins and it'll automatically start extracting out the data over here. So that's pretty cool, just like before. So it's awesome. So if you go back to trends, and of course you can select anything that you wanna look at here. And as soon as you sort of select down here, Maybe I want to try a different one. So for example, like recipes. And as you start exploring, it'll automatically extract out the pins and ads. Now, if you're not logged in, it may not find any ads like I mentioned in a previous video. But this just gives you another sort of option to come in and start scraping um, the top trending areas inside of the trends. Now I do recommend that when you're in here, you want to log into your account. So the Trends tool will work much better if you're logged into your Pinterest account. And to do that, just like before, you can click User Pass up here and you can go uh, log in. You can log in and if you wanna get access to your, your password and username real quickly, you can uh, click these buttons and you can click on Open Settings and you can save your username and password inside the software. Um, don't worry, your password is completely encrypted. It's not saved anywhere in plain text on the computer, so it's, it's encrypted. Um, so then you can save it there. You don't have to save it in the software if you don't like. If you'd like to just manually click, uh, type it in here, that's totally up to you. But I like to keep it easy. So you can just grab your stuff here real quick and you can just log in and go to trends and it'll just work better. And as I mentioned, if you don't reside in these countries, you may not see any data here, but you can get around that by using a VPN. If you're using NordVPN, you can just log into the US and this will show up. But again, you don't have to. If you wanna use the Trends tool, refer to that other video. But there you have it. I just wanted to illustrate the use of the new Trends bookmark in here that I didn't show in the other video.